Within the last hour, the NAACP sent us this statement saying Governor Kay Ivey should quit. Thanks for joining us. I'm Dan Schaefer. And I'm Naja Sherman. And in this letter that we received just today, the civil rights group said Ivy's apology for wearing blackface during a college skit does not erase what she did. The NAACP also questioned how Ivy can govern people that she has mocked and intimidated. And the organization said the blackface skit still shapes who she is today and pointed to bills she signed to protect the Confederate flag and monuments. Race is almost always a topic people shy away from when talking on camera. But we sent our Way 31's Shosh Bedrosian to downtown Huntsville to ask people how Alabama learns from its history and moves forward as a diverse community. Dan Naja, today we spoke with people in downtown Huntsville about race relation. Now, even though it is a heavy topic for strangers to converse about, we asked if Governor Ivey should resign from office, and we got passionate answers on both sides. You should apologize to um, not only to the African American community, but to um, the whole community. Um, because um, honestly, let's just face it, America is a, di a diverse country. Racism is is completely unacceptable. Uh, it, it's an attitude. It's the way people think. You want to ensure that the appropriate officials with um, the knowledge and wisdom are there to represent the people impartially without bias. Governor Kay Ivey went to Auburn University at a time where there was bias. This week, Ivey admitted to wearing blackface as part of a college skit, but said she doesn't remember doing it. I asked people if the governor should face consequences for what she did more than 50 years ago. Were to say I did do that, that was who I was in college. I've grown throughout the years. I think the people um, would respect that response, not so much the action itself, but the response. To apologize for it, um, keep talking about it, explain the situation, and let it go. I, I don't think she needs to quit. Uh, Trust and hope, considering today's time in the current administration and what's happening. So it's impossible to know what everyone thinks, but from the people I spoke with, their message was clear. What happened in our past cannot happen again. Um, sadly, everybody has some form of either direct or indirect racism in them. You just have to pay attention to what you're doing. But blackface has never been, that, that's, that's a demeaning an entire race. It, it's wrong. It's just wrong. American community know that you are there for them and not that person reaching out to them um, would just, I think, speak a lot more, not only to that community, but to um, the whole world. Now, we put a poll up on our Facebook asking people if Governor Ivey should resign. Now, the poll stands right now 60 to 40 in favor of Ivey staying in office. Ironically, that's the exact same margin of her victory last November. In Huntsville, Shosh Bedrosian, Way 31 News. The governor said that she doesn't plan on rescinding from the skit uh, from more than 50 years ago or resigning from her position as a result of it. Now we want to know what uh, you think. Vote in our online poll. Go to waytv.com and click on this story.